Sanchez. And now to this report that uh, focuses on the solemn plea from the head of state. President William Ruto is asking for patience from you as his government embarks to fulfill the promises that were made on the campaign trail. Speaking on the final day of his five-day development tour of the coast region, President Ruto equally assured coast residents that the Mombasa port will not be privatized. President William Ruto, who was on the final stretch of his five-day development tour of the coast region, graced an interdenominational Thanksgiving prayer in Mombasa, where the issue of unfulfilled promises by the Ruto administration took center stage. Ruto, who took oath on September 13, 2022, and ascended to power on the basis of what was called the plan, has been on the receiving end of our bulk of unfulfilled promises so far. On this day, the message of patience as the essence of growth echoed as Kenyans were urged to give the government time. Shida kubwa tulio nao Kenya hatutaki kugoja. Tunataka kira kitu haraka haraka. Uo ereo upate mtoto leo. Adizote Either ni za mungu au ni za serikali ni raisi ya liweka dawa yake goja. Vile ni meahidi wa Kenya, we are going to work together with all leaders. Leo tumekwa na mkutano na governors wote na mabunge wote waliokuja. Kwa sababu pia na sisi tunatafuta hiyo umoja, one accord. Nje tuweze kutimiza malengo ya taifa letu. President Ruto equally adding his voice to the Dongokundu Special Economic Zone Compensation Process as he ordered for the revaluation of beneficiaries to ensure only genuine people are compensated. Ruto equally assuring that the Mombasa port will not be privatized. Tumakubaliana hakuna port ita binafsishwa ama itafanywa kuwa private ya watu fulani. Iyo tumakubaliana. Tunaelewana? Yale mpango ya zamani ya privatization na kubinafsisha port haitafanyika chini ya uongozi ya serikali mimi naongoza. The president who was last in the coast region in July this year equally spoke about the steps taken to boost the education sector in the coast region. Tulitoa nafasi kama 1500 ya waalimu kuajiriwa hapa pwani. Lakini nafasi hizo zote hatuja zikamilisha kwa sababu tuko na shortage ya waalimu hapa pwani. Adhuri ya leo naenda kufungua chuo ya mafunzo ya waalimu hapa kwale. Tunataka waalimu zaidi waje pale tuwafundishe ili waende wafundishe watoto wetu katika vijiji na mashule yetu kule mashinani. The interdenominational service held at Mamangina Waterfront Mombasa saw various government leaders and members of the clergy converge. Later, the president wrapped up his tour with an inspection tour of various projects including the Kinango Technical Training Institute. Time for a break now. Don't go to Far News Center. Continues in a beat. Stay with us.